people have figured out, oh, if this ratio was different by some factor, like a factor of two or something, like that, I was like, oh, this would all like not work. Mm -hmm. And I look, you look at the sun, right? It's like, so it turns out that there are key reactions that if they had slightly lower probability, no star would ever ignite. Mm -hmm. And then life wouldn't be possible. It does seem like the, <laughs> the universe <Yes. laughs> set things up for yeah. us that it's possible to do some cool things, but it's challenging. So that they, they, they keeps it fun for us. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I look at it. I mean, the you know the multiverse model is an interesting one uh, because there are you know quantum scientists who look at and figure. It's like oh, it's like oh yeah, like quantum science perhaps tells us that there are almost an infinite you know variety of other universes. But the way that it works probably is it's almost like a form of natural selection. It's like well, the universes that didn't have the correct or interesting relationships between these forces, nothing happens in them. So almost by definition, the fact that we're having this conversation means that we're in one of the interesting ones by default. Yeah, one of the somewhat interesting, but there's probably super interesting ones where we, I, I tend to think of humans as incredible creatures. Our brain is, is an incredible computing device, but I think we're also extremely cognitively limited. I can imagine alien civilizations that are much, 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 much more intelligent. Uh, in ways we can't even comprehend, in terms of their ability to comp to construct models of the world, in, to do physics, to do physics and mathematics. I would see it in a slightly different way. It's, it's actually it's because we have um, we have we have creatures that live with us on the Earth that have cognition, right? That understand and move through their environment, but they they actually see things in a way, or they sense things in a way which is so fundamentally different. It's really hard. Like the tr it's it, the, it's the problem is the translation, not necessarily intelligence. So it's the perception of the world. So I have a, a dog, and when when I go out and I see my dog like s smelling things, there's a realization that I have that he sees or senses the world in a way that I can never like I can't understand it because I can't translate my way to this. We get little glimpses of this as humans, though. By the way, because there are some parts of it, for example, op optical uh, information which comes from light, is that now because we've developed the technology, we can actually see things. You know, I've had I get this. You know, as a uh, one of my areas of research is spectroscopy. So this means the study of light. You know, and I and I get this quote unquote see things or representations of them from you know the far infrared all the way to like hard hard X rays, which is several orders of magnitude of the of the light intensity. But our own human eyes mm -hmm. like see a teeny teeny little sliver of this. Yeah. So that even like bees, for example, see a different place than we do. So I, I don't, I, I think if you think of, there's already other intelligences like around us in a way, in a limited way, um, because of the way they can communicate. But it's like, th those are already baffling <laughs> in many yeah. ways, yeah. It, so if we just focus in on the senses, there's already a lot of diversity, but there's probably things we're not even considering as possibilities. Yes. For example, uh, whatever the heck consciousness is, could actually be a, a door into understanding some physical phenomena we're not haven't even begun understanding so just like you said spectroscopy there could be a similar kind of spectrum for consciousness that we're just like we're like these dumb uh descendants of apes like walking around it sure feels like something to experience the color red but like we don't have it, it's the same as in the ancient times you experience physics you, you experience light yeah. It's like, oh, it's bright and, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you construct kind of uh, semi religious Well, it's interesting. We, 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 we yeah. might actually experience this faster than we thought because we might be building another another kind of intelligence. Yeah. And that, that intelligence will explain to us <laughs> how silly <laughs> well, we are. We, there was an email thread going around the professors in my department already of, uh, so what is it going to look like to figure out if students have actually written their term papers or it's chat, uh, the, the, the chat GPT, chat GPT. Um, uh, <laughs> it was, so as, as usual, as, as where you, we tend to be empiricists in my field. So of course they were in there like trying to figure out if, uh, if it could answer like questions for a qualifying exam to get into the PhD program at MIT, which was, it, it, they didn't do that well at that point. But of course, this is just the beginning of it. So yeah. we have some interesting ones to go Eventually, for. both the students and the professors will be replaced by Chad GPT. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll sit on the beach. I really recommend, you know, this, I don't know if you've ever seen them. It's called The Day the Universe Changed. This is, is that a movie? James yeah. Burke. Yeah. 
He's a science historian based in the UK. Um, he had a, had a fairly famous series on on public television called Connections, I think it was. But the one that I really enjoyed was The Day the Universe uh, Changed. And the the reason for the title of it was that um, he says, the universe is what we know and perceive of it. So when there's a fundamental insight as to something new, the universe for us changes. Of course, the universe from an objective point of view is the same as it was before, but for us it has changed. So he walks through these these moments of perception in 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 the history of humanity that like changed what we were right and so as i was th thinking about coming to, to to discuss this you know people see fusion oh it's still far away or we've been it's been slow progress it's like when my when my godmother was born like people had no idea how stars worked <laughs> so yeah. you talk about like that day that insight yeah. the universe changed is like oh this is the, I mean, they, and they still didn't understand all the parts of it, but, you know, they basically got it. It's like, oh, because of the, because of the understanding of these processes, it's like we unveiled the reason that there can be life in the universe. That's probably one of those days the universe changed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah.